So now it's time to work on getting the text that the user is going to type here and send it to our application in order to respond here, in order to let the chatbot respond. But how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, let me explain the logic behind this. First of all, once the user types something here and then clicks on send, what we need to do is that obviously we need to get that text and then we need to send it. We need to send it to our flask here. So we need to create a route that will get that text, that will respond, will get first that text, and then will respond by using, remember, by using the get response and sends the response back to the user and displays the response here so that the user sees that uh, response. But in order to send, in order to send that, uh, uh, in order to send that text, in order to make a connection between the input and Flask and Flask application, we need we need JavaScript. So I'm going to be using jQuery. Of course, you can use uh, vanilla JavaScript, but jQuery is uh, it's it's better in terms of the code. It's easier in terms of the code. In, in, instead of creating a very long code that's going to send or make a request using vanilla JavaScript, you can simply use jQuery, and the code would be much less. So you can head on over to code.jQuery.com and then I'm going to be using uh, jQuery here. You can click on this uh, on compressed and then you can copy this script. You can copy this script. I'm going to be using, obviously I'm going to be using a CDN version of, of uh, jQuery instead of downloading it. So I'm going to copy this. You need to copy it. Click here to copy that link. And then you need to head on over back to your application. And in the index, you must include this in the beginning here in the uh, top before the styles I'm gonna just paste it and now we have jQuery in our application so uh, now we can start working on the uh, on the logic and add our code here so how how are we gonna do that well let me show you what what I'm gonna be doing so obviously now that we have jQuery I'm gonna here at the bottom what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a script and use jQuery so here just above the uh, the uh, closing body tag, I'm going to create here a script. And that script obviously is going to be using jQuery script. So here inside that script, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a function that's going to send, that's going to first get that text from the user, get that text, and then send it to our Flask application. And then Flask will use this get response to send a response back to us here in the uh, to the user in the index.html and obviously once the response is sent to the uh, html it will be displayed here and the user will see everything will will uh, be able to look at the conversation between um, him or her and the chatbot so here again back to the index.html i'm going to here create a function function and then I'm going to name this function get user response response and then this function is going to be using obviously uh, jQuery so what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to uh, get the text from this text input so I'm going to say here I'm going to say uh, dollar sign because I'm using uh, jQuery and if you don't know jQuery don't worry it's just very very simple you just follow along and you will understand and I will also walk you through the code so first of all I'm gonna make a reference here to this uh, ID text input so it's text input let me just get close to this and then here I'm gonna make a reference to, to this in order to get the text from that text input text input and then dot val which is a function given by a jQuery and this function is gonna get the text from that text input so it's, it's gonna pull out the text from this input and store it in a variable. So I'm going to create here a variable called user text. User text is going to be equal to this. So now we have the text from the user. What I'm going to do is that I am going to display that display that uh, text uh, that's sent by the user here immediately because immediately after the user types something here and clicks on send we need to display that text here but we also need to get it so we need to do th two things first we need to get it 
and send it to Flask. And we also want to display it here because we want to tell the user, hey user, the, the text that you have typed here has been sent and it's now displayed here. So I'm gonna first here use, I'm gonna use here, um, uh, I'm gonna create here a variable called var and then user HTML, HTML, and it's gonna be equal to a paragraph P, and then this P is gonna have a class because I want to add designs to the to the text that the user is gonna send. Once the user sends uh, that text, we want to display it here, and I want to add designs to that element that will be injected here in the page. So here I'm going to um, create a class and that class is going to be uh, named user text. User text. And I'm going to also add span. Span as I did, exactly as I did with, as, a, uh, as I have done with um, with the bot text. So here span. And inside that span, I want here span. And let me first close this P. Inside that span, I'm going to display the uh, I'm going to display the uh, text. So I'm going to say here user text. I'm going to display the user text here in between. And now we have this we have this uh, uh, variable the user HTML. We need to inject it, inject that into our page. So we can of course do that using jQuery very easily. I'm going to here first. Um, remove first. I'm going to remove the text from 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 this input because once the user clicks on it, we will get it displayed here and remove it from this input. We I'm not going to keep it here. I'm not going to keep the text that the user has typed here in this input. So I'm going to say here dollar sign and then here dollar sign and then again reference to this uh, text text input. And then I'm going to say that uh, val, and then that value is going to be empty. So the value is going to be empty. It's just going to be empty. And then I'm going to uh, inject that user input to our page. So I'm going to make a reference again using the dollar sign. And then here, uh, chat box, chat box. Remember this chat box, chat chat box and then I'm going to inject um, by using the append I'm going to inject that user HTML so I'm going to pass this user HTML user HT user HTML into the chatbot which is the container of our con which works as uh, a container of our uh, conversation and then um, now it's very important to also kind of scroll because as the as the conversation gets uh, um, many many uh, messages we will not have enough space here so we need to scroll automatically as the conversation gets uh, longer and longer so here I'm gonna say uh, document document dot get element by ID get element by ID and then user user input user input user input which is this user input and then I'm gonna say dot scroll into view so I'm gonna say scroll into view and then I'm gonna just here pass um, an object block and I'm gonna just say here say start and then comma and then behavior behavior and then smooth behavior smooth smooth and this uh, this is very important because we want again to give the user the best possible user experience